So the uh, uh, safety SIG, as it's called, Special Interest Group, links into the Strategic Clinical Network. So I chair the Lancashire and South Cumbria one. And if I can work out how to work this, that would be great. Certainly not without my glasses. Where's the arrow? Right, hold it the right way up. Right. <laughs> Okay, um, so this is about safety. This is about safety, and safety is a very important um, core element of the um, Better Births uh, policy, and of course of the work that the LMS are doing. And safety is nothing new, new for us. I mean, these are just some of the different organizations that um, provide us with lots and lots and lots of different policies and guidelines on how we and how we should improve safety in maternity care. And this doesn't seem to be quite in the right order, <laughs> but we'll just skip on over that one. Um, this is the, the, what Better Birth says, and obviously I'm not going to read that out. I just wanted to highlight how, how important safety is in that um, uh, vision of, uh, of Better Births. Uh, and it's both that it's safer, but also that it, that it has that uh, sense that it is centred out people's um, individual needs and circumstances. So um, again, I'm not going to read these out, but this is some of the guidance and evidence base that there is around what is necessary um, to provide safe and quality care in, in maternity. And one of the reasons for just listing, uh, for listing these is when we start talk, talking about the work that the LMS is doing around improving safety in the system, people start thinking yet another thing to do. It isn't anything new that we're trying to do. It is just about implementing um, and making sure that we make the implementation almost easier to do as a system rather than just doing as individual organizations. Well, yeah. More guidance and evidence base. I'm sure you're all quite familiar with these, but as you can see, there's a long and long number of these. Um, in terms of the better births requirements, the, the policy they've been um, uh, they've been uh, listed as key lines of inquiry. These are set by the national team, and these are the basis of the work that the safety sig is um, is, is is planning at this point uh, at this point in time. I never quite understand why these things are called key lines and quiet. That doesn't sit naturally with me. But in terms of what they are, I think you'll, you know, this quite, you'll be familiar with this about reducing stillbirths and neonatal deaths, reducing the uh, number of interpartum um, brain injuries, having a clear way of ensuring that serious incidents are, are investigated properly, that, that there is uh, both external and uh, service user input in the, in the investigations of serious incidents, and importantly, that we learn from each other so that if something happens in one organization that you think god oh, that does just I bet that happens elsewhere so how do we make sure that elsewhere knows about that and knows about how you um, how you might um, uh, you know what you might implement to make the changes and perhaps those changes are easy to implement as as a system and also, um, we, we, um, I, th I think Mandy is speaking later about the, uh, the neonatal um, maternity neonatal health safety collaborative. Um, but our plans, our safety plans, should take into account the um, the the uh, participating in, the, in in that collaborative. Okay, so we've just finished, at least we is a big word, and Alex and, <laughs> and Julie for the Better Earth core team have developed um, the Safety SIGS uh, PID project, implement, project implementation document, right, okay, see, after 22 years in the uh, NHS as a consultant, I still don't get all the acronyms, but uh, so basically it's the plan, it's the strategy, How, what are we going to be doing over the next couple of years? Um, so these are sort of the objectives, and you'll recognise these. These are, again come from national national requirements. And it carries on. Uh, I think none, none, all of these are quite uh, are quite well known. So these are the bases of what the safety sig um, plan uh, is based on. So that document has just gone out to all members of the safety SIG so that we can consult on that so by the, the next meeting we can get an agreement about how we start um, working on that plan and make sure that everybody's behind that. The only reason I've inserted this, this one is just to highlight what a complex system it is and just where in that system 
is the safety stick. <laughs> safety stick. So you see the safety stick is part of the Northwest Coast SCN, but that links into the, um, the LMS, which then links into the ICS. It's a very complex system. Only in the NHS, I think, when I say something like that. But it comes down to that the safety sig is the bit where um, where all the safety elements come together to work as a system to implement um, to implement the objectives. The membership is there, and quite important in that membership is the obstetric safety champion and the obstetric and the midwifery safety champions of each uh, organisation, who then link up internally with their own um, executive safety champion. But as you see, there are obviously uh, input from, from uh, linked services such as neonatology. Um, and, it, and of course, those safety champions link, uh, link both internally, as I've already mentioned, into the board level safety champion, as, uh, and, uh, as well as into the clinical networks and into the national system. I'm not sure I did that correctly, but yes, I think I did. So it just, uh, that's the main point for, for highlighting this is to uh, raise the awareness that there is now a system-wide um, plan and on, um, on implementing the various safety initiatives. And the point of this is not to make the work, to make the work of the individual organizations harder, but to help, um, to help apply a systems approach to achieving those objectives. Thank you, Monica. Does anybody want to pick up anything before we move on? No? Okay, fantastic. Okay, we can, sorry. Of that, of that, sorry, Monica. Of that really complicated <laughs> diagram you've shown, how complete the rest of it? And who is the regional safety champion? Because if you look at that, the, the, the trust safety champions are supposed to link in with, with the regional safety champion. The short, short, answers, short answers, I'm not sure who the regional safety um, champion is. Uh, I hope it isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> if you mean regional as in North Region, then I would, suggest, I would suggest it's Margaret Kitchen who chairs the Regional Transformation Board, but I, I'll have to check that out. But I would say it's her. I, I think I get what you're getting at. I mean, the whole system isn't up and running yet, and, and uh, you know we need links from the LMS both, and they are there, but to strengthen the links with the ICS, uh, with the ICS leadership, as well as with the leaderships, the executive leaderships of the, of the various organisations, so that they un, un, under, have a good understanding of what is needed for, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to implement maternity transformation and the importance of the safety element of that. Mandy, here. Yeah. I was just going to say the um, non-merger of NHS England and NHS Improvement is result going to result in a Northwest Regional team. 